Hey everybody, welcome to our accountability group. Jamie and I are so excited to um, have you starting prep week, um, gearing up for our start date of November 9th. So um, most of you probably already have received your kit um, and in your kit inc involves the eating plan. So I wanted to break down the eating plan for you step by step and also give you a little bit of an overview of what we do for the week to make sure we um, stay on point. Alex and Tessie's is gonna help us. And I don't know that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, my eating plan is black because I'm doing the 21 Day Fix Extreme. Um, for those of you that are doing the 21 Day Fix, your eating guide is the white booklet. I would recommend this week that you take a really hard look at it, get to know what foods you can have and what foods you can't have. The other thing you're want to, going to want to do is you're going to want to identify how many, how many of these containers am I supposed to have a day. So that's very, very important and that's all in the first part of your booklet under getting started. Number one, calculate your cal calorie target. So for me, um, I eat four of these containers a day, four greens, which are one cup. I eat two cups of um, purple, which are my fruits. I eat uh, four of the three fourths of a cup of protein. I eat two, I don't, to be honest, I don't always eat two. Um, yellows, I often will either have an extra veggie, um, it just depends on how strict I want my diet to be, but technically I could have two yellow um, containers a day. I can have one blue container a day, sorry, two blue containers a day, and I yet generally love to have these filled with avocado and with hummus, those are my favorite in the mid-afternoon with veggies, we'll go over that in a little bit. And then I have one of the oranges a day, which is the dressing. And I generally really love the Bolt House dressing, which is the yogurt based dressing. But I also am a huge proponent of balsamic and olive oil, or uh, olive oil, dry mustard. Um, and there's a lot of phenomenal recipes that you can find in here for that are free foods on the 21 day fix. Okay, so I thought it would be really helpful to show you how I make my lunch and my snacks for the day. Um, so I start off my mornings with having a to having my Shakeology, I prefer it with crushed ice, water, and just Shakeology. That's my favorite, that's my go-to, and I am, and I think I'm addicted to chocolate Shakeology. So I start with that. Um, often, sometimes I'll have a few, a few pieces of fruit with that in the morning, um, but I like to save my fruit for the mid, my mid-morning snack. So then my mid-morning snack entails uh, two eggs and a cup of purple, of purple which means that's one of my red containers. So now I've already had two of my red containers. I've had my Shakeology, which equals a red container. My 10.30 morning snack is my red container of eggs, my purple container of fruit. And then I go to my lunch. So my lunch is I'm gonna have spinach today. So I just kind of roughly fill up the cup. The best thing for, my best um, advice or tip for you is to put it on your plate. Don't eat out of the containers. They're not that. They're not that glamorous. They don't look that fun. Um, but what what you'll really be surprised about is how much food you actually have on your plate. I realized for a full year that I actually didn't know what I didn't know, and I was overeating on healthy foods. Autumn said that, and I remember before I started this program, I was like, Autumn, whatever, you cannot overeat on healthy foods. You can. Stick to your portion containers. Stick to what your calorie intake is, and I'm telling you, you will get serious results. So. That's one, cup. that's one cup, here is two cups. So there we go, and I'm really messy and I'm throwing spinach everywhere. <laughs> so there's my two cups of spinach. Like look at that, that does not look like that's not a lot. So what I like to put on that is I either have chicken um, or salmon. The other thing with Jamie and I, and I don't know about you guys, I we don't have a lot of time. We don't have a ton of time to sit and cut all this stuff up. Um, if I do have it on Sundays, I will absolutely spend this time um, cutting up all this stuff, but we've got a full week ahead of us. We had a busy weekend. So you know what? I'm prepped, I'm ready to go, and I'm able to make phenomenal healthy veggies for me, for my kids, and making sure we're good to go for dinners this week. So I like to put a little bit of extra veggies on my salad. I'm gonna put some snow peas on those salads today. Um, just a little bit extra and maybe uh, a little bit of broccoli as well, just to give it a little kick and a little crunch. If I wanted to, I could use my blue container of feta cheese in this, but I'm gonna save it for dinner tonight. So then I, the other thing I realized is that I was actually eating too much chicken, too much protein, believe it or not. So if you actually cut your chicken up, and you measure it into your red container before putting it in, you'll notice that you're, you have about a palm size, a thin palm size amount of protein. 
you know, it's that palm and the palm protein measure, uh, measuring method. So it's a really good um, idea of what protein and how much you should actually be eating. And if you measure it out in the palm and put it in the container, for me, it's the same size. So that was a pretty cool um, thing for me to discover and know that I'm eating the right amount of protein for my body and I'm full. So that's great. So I'm gonna cut that up. I'm gonna put it in there in my uh, salad and it's generally about that much protein for me. So that's just generally about how much protein I eat if it's perfectly in the size of my palm. And what I didn't know is I used to eat one or maybe even sometimes one and a half pieces of chicken at lunch, not need it. Okay, so another thing Jamie and I really like to do to make sure that we've got quick accessible protein. So for example, this morning we're boiling 10 eggs. So we've got 10 eggs, we usually eat about two each per day. Um, and then we're also gonna cook up this chicken tonight. Um, so that it's all ready to go. Clean, good, healthy, whole foods, ready at your fingertips. That's one of my biggest weaknesses is when I get home at night and there's chick kids, either a little pizza or something that the kids are eating, I generally eat that because I'm so hungry. But if you've got foods available, you know what you're doing, you've had your menu planned out, you should be good to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my um, fruit in my purple container. So again, for me, this was just easier. It was already done this morning for me. And there's my watermelon, good to go. One more piece in there. So this is gonna be my morning snack. So I'm gonna have a, some watermelon, I'm gonna have two eggs. Here's my lunch, which is great. I'm just gonna fill up this orange container. So I know that I've got my dressing. It fills kind of right up to about there. It does not leak either, which is brilliant. And lastly, I'm gonna do my veggies in the afternoon. The other thing I was doing too, um, prior to learning about the 21 day fix, is I was actually having a protein bar in the mid afternoon, which was extra carbs, extra protein, um, extra fat, and it was actually too much food. I didn't need to be doing that. So now, here's a perfectly green container that my little, the little um, snack size Ziplocs are awesome. You don't always have to use all the containers all the time. It makes for a very full lunch bag. Um, so I try, to, I try to spread that out. So there's that for this afternoon. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some hummus. I love hummus and veggies, and I usually do, it's about two full tablespoons. So I just try to measure kind of it out and put it into the blue container so that I'm good to go. And there's my hummus for the afternoon. Really healthy, really filling. And again, you really wanna make sure that you're getting those healthy fats in. Avocado, avocados are amazing, um, hummus is amazing. You wanna make sure that you stick to it and that you make sure that you get your fats in. Fats are key. Coconut oil is awesome as well. So that's about it. Here's my day, here's my day, plus my Shakeology, and then this afternoon for dinner, we're gonna have some healthy salmon, and we're gonna have this awesome vegetable stir fry um, that's already done for us, ready to go. Throw a little coconut oil in and we're good to go. This week also on the agenda, we've got some sweet potato fries already cut up. Um, we've got beans, we've got carrots. Um, again, it's all about healthy, good options. The other thing I like, and you'll notice in your um, book, is you've got water bar. So a water bar is whatever you're gonna do to get you to drink your two liters or, or more of water, um, and we'll talk about hydration, the importance of hydration within our group. Um, you gotta get that in. So for me, grapefruit and mint are my favorite. Um, I, I almost like muddle it up like a bit of a mojito, um, and it really sets the tone for my day, and I'm right, I'm right on track wanting to drink that water all day long. So those are some of my tips and tricks. Um, again, the more the, the healthier you eat, the healthier you crave it. Um, I used to really get, uh, I don't know whether they were digestive migraines or sugar migraines, I'm not sure. Before I started this plan, I would have tons of migraines. I could not get out of bed in the morning, and now that's totally changed. So diet is key, nutrition is fuel. Um, you're either fighting disease um, through your eating or you're contributing to it. So it's our choices, and really Jamie and I are so proud, humbled and blessed to be able to work with you alongside and support you on this journey. Um, so good luck, happy prep week, and we'll see you soon. Okay, and lastly everybody, I just want you, as you're, in, as you're going through this prep week and you're really understanding, you know, what are in these green containers? What foods can I be having? So each 
Each of the sections and each of the containers in your booklet basically mimic an approved shopping list. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take out your favorites. What do I wanna eat? What, what's something that's gonna make me want to go eat um, and, and satisfy and, and satiate, my, satiate my hunger? Um, so again, so your green container, you've got all these approved lists. Um, of what you can be eating. So for example, kale, collard greens, spinach, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, asparagus, beets, tomatoes, squash. There's so much you can eat just from even the veggie list. Then you go over, you've got your purple containers. Again, you're gonna wanna think about your fruits that are high or that are low on the glycemic list. Um, and that's what's really listed at the front, at the top here. For me, so for example, that's the raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, watermelon, cantaloupe. At the bottom are those ones that are really sugary, so banana, pineapple, um, papaya, mango. Those are at the bottom of the list because again, those are those are what's really really high in sugar so again if you want to stay on point and you're really trying to hone in and if this is for weight loss depending on what your goals are um should depend on what you're eating and i can help you with that through personal messaging or one-on-one -on -one support or jamie can that's what we're here for so that's just what i like to stick to i love my berries and i stick to those um every day our watermelon's great too kids love them as well the red containers, again, they've got a ton of samples and ideas for you. If you're a vegetarian, there is some vegetarian options too, so stuff for you to consider. But again, get to know your approved shopping list. It's gonna be very helpful and set you up to succeed. And those are your tools for success for sure. Your yellow containers, again, these are your carbs. These are your healthy, awesome carbohydrates. My favorite are sweet potato, quinoa. We love that. Um, lentils. Um, they're a little bland, but they're good. Um, peas, brown rice, wild rice. I mean, the list goes is so extensive. There is pasta on here. If you feel like you want to have pasta and you don't feel like having spaghetti squash as your base, there's an option. But again, stick within your yellow container and then have the sauce and the veggies on top. So you're still getting that nice carb um, and you're being able to, car to, to kind of um, satiate that craving if you've got one. Blue containers, again, this is your healthy fats. Um, so hummus is on there, avocado, nuts, coconut milk, feta cheese, goat cheese, all that good stuff. The next one are your orange containers. So raw nuts, raw seeds, um, flax seed, and then there's also your fixed dressings, which are going to be later in the book on page, so for me it's page 62. So don't, don't just stick with the front section of your book. Really make sure you read into that because they've got amazing recipes in here. And it also maps out what the servings are, so your containers, so you really get to know how does this work for me. Lastly in the book too, is this really neat tracking system. You're also gonna have this in the um, file section of our, of our 21 Day Fix group. So make sure you reference the file section in our private Facebook group. Um, so that's a really good uh, way to stay on track. This is my eighth month doing this program. Um, so finally, I think I have it down pat. But it takes a while and it, and, and it was hard at first. So just go easy on yourself, ask questions, we are all here as your tribe to support you. Um, we're so excited you're on this journey with us. It's going to be fun as well as rewarding, and you're going to rock this. So